Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 18th of 2023 well, it is titled Bard Spiral Galaxy NGC 1365 from Webb. So what do we see here? Well, this is a Bard Spiral Galaxy, which is actually the type of galaxy that is our own Milky Way as well. So spiral galaxies come in two types, uh, one considered a normal spiral galaxy or an ordinary spiral galaxy has spiral arms that spiral straight down into the core of the galaxy. The barred spiral galaxies seem to have a bar of stellar material going through the center and the arms come off the ends of the bar. So they're a little bit different in structure and although we call them a normal and a barred spiral in reality we are finding that there are more barred spiral galaxies than normal spiral galaxies in the universe. So here we see one of these as imaged by the James Webb Space Telescope and that is was launched a, a little over a year ago now and has been giving us some great information and some far more detail uh, looking at various areas of the sky and studying various objects from planets out to galaxies at the edge of the universe and giving us new insights building on the work that the Hubble Space Telescope had been doing for the last 30 years or so and continuing that with a much larger telescope and with a telescope that can see in the infrared part of the spectrum. So here we see infrared uh, light that is being observed. And we see that this is a very large spiral galaxy larger than our own Milky Way, this one being about 200,000 light years across, nearly twice the size of our own Milky Way. However, within the spiral arms, we see the same kind of things that we would be used to seeing in terms of star clusters and hydrogen regions. We can just see them in a little bit more detail because of the larger telescope. And we can are then able to see through the dust in the infrared. So when we look at a galaxy in visible light, the gas and the dust sorry the dust will block out much of the visible light to visible light dust is opaque meaning it cannot pass through it it's almost like looking through a wall if there is enough dust present in infrared light the longer wavelengths are able to penetrate through and give us views that we would not be able to get otherwise so we can see far more detail in the core here and within the spiral arms to allow us to better able be able to study these types of galaxies and learn more about them and of course then learn more about our own galaxy which of course is more difficult to study even though we're even though we're closer because we are trapped inside it so it's harder to study something from the inside than it is from looking down on it from outside as we do with NGC 1365 here. So that was our picture of the day for February 18th of 2023. It was titled Bard Spiral Galaxy NGC 1365 from Webb. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be seven siblings from wise. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.